just got the chip removed in the new job and I got here and I noticed something and a lot of people have been asking me about it wondering about it and asking questions and we haven't been on the same job so it ain't running but I'll get a little picture for, for you I'll never guess what I found He stood six foot six. I found the cat puncher, guys. It's a 573C. This is the head we like. It seems to cut the best for us. Got the lift gate over here. And it cuts just about any tree you want to. We can cut a big tree with this thing. But. That's how it works, guys. It cuts it off, and then the tree slides up on that lip, and then the arms grab it. And that arm lets go and grabs another one. This arm here keeps grabbing them. But that's the cat buncher, the 573. We put 30.5 tires on our bunchers, too. Switched over there. We had it on that Prentice seemed to work really well for us and then the two cat skitters we got we put 35 fives on those a little bigger tire than some people run but it seems to work really good for us so we've had this skitter been two years three years been three years yet two and a half three years I think and uh, she's had a couple little issues but other than that, it's been a really good machine. It cuts really, really well for it. It'll cut down a big tree. If you weren't wondering how that side gate works, oh, I think it's a cottonwood over here. I'll show you how it works. I'll take a stroll over here. But I found here's what it does when it lifts that side gate up. You can see this tree here. You got it pretty darn close, but there's one cut here and one cut here. One, this cut, I think he cut with his side gate open and just cut through it. And then his next cut, he cuts the smaller part. And surprisingly, it's still, still big enough, or still small enough, it can grab it. And that thing's. There's my boot. My boot's 12 inches. So it's all 24 inches, and uh, he didn't cut it right here. Is that the stake here? That might, that's the stump there. But yeah, he didn't cut it here, and that thing's all 24 inches, and he carried it way over here. So that's how it works. That'll still cut a big tree, so a little bit of wood here, but oh, I found it. And if I can catch him cutting, I will. The only problem is he's no he's no spring chicken. He's been cutting a long, long time. So the second he sees any blue shirt or anything in the woods, it catches his eye really quick, and then he shuts his machine down. And says, I'm not cutting until you get out of here. So, But, maybe food or something will change his mind. But that's the buncher. I found it. Hopefully I'll try hard to get some footage. We'll see what happens. But uh, don't, don't count on it. He's kind of finicky about it. Chipper don't look that big when it's in the woods next to the big skitters. But when you put a car up beside it, like that little car, that trailblazer, it looks like you'd almost shove it right in the back of that thing. That's when you get to see how really big it is. It almost touches both lines going down the expressways. Good and wide. Tall. You can throw that S10 right back there. Grinder up, chew her up. It's one big tipper. 